Hey guys, how's it going? It's Farm Nick. Welcome back to another Farming Simulator 2019 video. Today we are back here in Farming Simulator 2019 on the new Autumn Oaks that just got redone finally. Yeah, I think it's been a little bit since we've actually done some videos or anything. I do apologize about that. I've had so much going on that I have not been able to really hardly play very much Farm Sim besides get on here and jump on and play on the server a little bit with Ryler and all of them. But today I thought... For the last night, we were having troubles on, we were on Lincoln Creek. Um, we were having troubles, the server would just want to shut down. I got a feeling it was something, a mod conflict, but I think also a little bit to do with the map. No offense. Um, there's still a bunch of issues. They'll get it fixed eventually. It's just, it's only version one, so we'll give it a bit. But let's show you what we got all going on for land. Um, let's go right here. So it's Ryler and me on a farm, and it's probably going to be... Michael and Ryler running, or Michael and uh, Paul, going to be running the blue farm. So that's like the big neighboring farm for us. We're going to have a neighboring farm, and then we're going to run a large dairy on all the green farms here. Ryler has started VTing last night, but we have went ahead and put all of our uh, nutrients on, I think. Or, no, we put pH on. So we put lime and everything on. Got everything ready to go. So now we're just working on gonna be creating fields and stuff like that so everything is good like that so we are running this main dairy yard and all along with the other i guess the old pig yard if you really want to be civic in autumn oaks but let's give you guys a farm tour so i got a gmc 2500 duramax i'm not too sure what this is does not tell me that's a duramax i think it's like a 2500 something like that there we go Get rid of that for you. Uh, so yeah, this is 6.6 .6 liter Duramax tuned. We got a nice Lone Oaks house. We got a basketball hoop. Nice, nice, nice. Uh, I guess we'll run over to our shop, see what we got going on. So we got ourselves a Case IH 8920. Uh, this is just going to be like another chore tractor for us. Um, we have two main chore tractors we're going to have on the farm. Uh, we got a 7810. That's going to be like my main chore tractor I'll use, and Ryler probably use the 8920 there. Um, we got a 9430 for uh, heavy tillage. Maybe running the VT if we really needed to in the fall when we're running grain cart and stuff. We could have another person doing that. Um, we got a Case 370 skid loader here on tracks. Uh, I don't know what the number on the gator is, but we got a, a nice uh, fully sealed uh, gator here. What's in the office? Oh, there's a fridge. They blocked that off. What do we got pulled up? Oh, we got a Lone Oaks computer pulled up here. Nice, nice, nice. I never noticed this uh, fire extinguisher box. Pretty cool. But yeah, there is a lot of detail in this map. So big shout out to the guy that made it. I'm not 100% sure off the top. I don't want to say the wrong person or anything. But let's go check out the, mil the milking parlor. Looks pretty decent. Um, we are going to get into quite a bit of dairy head of cattle. So there's like a feed cart and everything that we need to run, apparently. We can sip it this way. Huh. Well, I guess we're into the feed room. We can jump out here. Not too much to see, but yeah. Let's run over. So we got our... This is our other big tractor we got. We got an 8330 John Deere here. Um, what do we got on... We got some Firestones on her. We got the John Deere. I think this is like a 2660 VT. Yep. We got our nice 42 foot air drill here. We got a Case IH 12 row high speed planter here. You might think you guys aren't running a lot of equipment. Well, we split, we decided to split a bunch of our equipment up between the two farms. We tried to keep very minimum, very minimum equipment over here at this yard. Um, we got our new Holland chopper here. What is this? S2200. We got a used corn head here, probably like an eight for picking like eight rows. Uh, I think this is a JM, or no, a Kenzie 850 grain card. I'm still used to running like a JM, like in real life. Um, we got a 608C corn head here. Is this a chopping one? Uh, I think it is. Yeah, I think that's a chopping corn head. Um, we got ourselves an S660. Pretty small combine, but that's all we need. We're not running very many acres. Really, we could be getting away with a smaller combine than this. But that is what Ryler wanted, so we went ahead with it. What else do we got going on? Let's sneak it back around here. 
very detailed uh, manure systems. They have redone all the fencing. Um, the last time I really played on this map was in FS17 when I did the series on Squad Farms. This was really the last time I played on this map, and now it's quite a shocker jumping to th this awesome, amazing redone edit for 19 here. So it looks pretty good. We got a uh, bale storage here for straw bales for, I guess you want to call it bedding and stuff like that. So we got a big Tex 25 footer here. We got our Anderson mixer here. What is it? A700. Uh, we got our little nurse trailer here. Along with, we got our New Holland 353 mix mill. So we'll be able to grind up beans, soybeans to make soybean meal. Or um, We got our K9 snow blade. Or I guess this is going to be more of our push blade. We got going on. We got our under firth seed t seed runner 3755XL. We got our also we got our uh, spreader here 800. So that just about does it for this yard. Um, we've edited Ryler has went ahead and made it so we got a nice big corn silage pit, and I think we're gonna do one corn silage, one haylage or something like that, and then we got CCM corn is gonna go at probably in this actual bunker that we have up here that I walked by. Put CCM corn in that one. But that is what we have going on for this yard here. Um, there is going to be some more equipment that we're going to be adding, but that is going to be down the road. We decided we'd get some equipment and we would uh, get the series rolling. And so we got a fuel trailer here I missed as well. But there's going to be the odd things that I probably missed. I think there's also like a snowblade, yeah, for his pickup truck here. But let's go hop in the old Dernamax and we're going to head down to the other yard and we'll see what's going on. And maybe we'll take a swing over and we'll see what Paul's got going on for his yard. Um, but also, if you guys are enjoying the video so far, please smash that thumbs up button. If we can get like 35 to 50 likes on this video, I think I might actually get back into the swing of doing YouTube every day. But we'll see what I'll try when I can. But if I can get 50 to 35, 35 to 50 likes on this video today, I will uh, get back on the YouTube grind, hopefully. But I just need you guys to hit that thumbs up button and let me know you're enjoying the video. Looks like we got a hammer mill there for dumping uh, the CCM corn in. But also, let me know if there's anything that I need to change with my mic. I've got a brand new microphone. I don't know if you guys have... I don't know if I mentioned the last little bit on Flint Hills or not. No one's coming. Let's roll. We can also just... Hang on. Hang on, it's a little hot in here. Put the window down. That's a lot better. I can put that window down too, but it's no point. Speed limit 55, let's rock and roll. So we're running all this land, as you guys can see. But I was actually getting to the point where I kind of actually missed doing the YouTube videos. So hopefully you guys are enjoying them by smashing that thumbs up button and let me know down in the comments what you guys thought of this video and uh, if I should do more or not. Um, let's see what we got over here hiding. I haven't really set too much up over here. We brought a bit of equipment. Oh, damn, it took the mirror off. That was a close one. All right, shut her off. So we got two JM680 gravity wagons, a red and green one. We got our uh, feed cart. Our feeding cattle down below, I believe, over here. We got our Farm King auger, and we have our Brent auger. What else we got? We got two auger or two bins there. Nice. I like how they have um, barn cleaners and stuff in here. That that looks pretty good. We also we are running a thirty-five foot draper. But it looks like yep, on our underfirth header wagon. We got a John Deere. I think this is a nine fifty-six. Yep, and we got our H and S. Wheel rake we got going on here. And we have a Vermeer 65M. We're going to be making some corn stalks and everything. I think that is it for over here. I'm just going to run back through here and see. But as you guys can see, like there is some pretty good detail into this yard. And we're going to climb up a tree as well. 
But yeah, guys, smash that thumbs up button, subscribe, turn on that post notification if you're not already. There's going to be lots of content coming to the channel here if you guys uh, show me that you really want it. And um, especially for Harvest coming up here very soon. But we got two, um, what do we got, Myers, 26-foot boxes. Or are they 22s? I think they're 22s. Yeah, they'll be 22s. Uh, we got a Case IH blower here. I tried repainting it because we bought a lot of equipment used on here to save on money. But we will be probably getting another skid loader on here. Not sure which one yet. But we can probably do some live streams and some of that kind of stuff. If you let me know it in the comment section what you guys want to see. How many head of cattle do you think we should get into? Let me know down below. But I think that is going to come to an end for this video. Um, if you guys did really enjoy this video, please smash that thumbs up button. I'd really appreciate it. Let me know. Um, and we will go from there. So until next time. Take care, and we'll uh, hopefully see you tomorrow. This is probably going out Tuesday, 4 o'clock or so. If you guys have a special time that you would like me to post them, let me know down below, and we'll uh, see you tomorrow, hopefully.